Okay, welcome back to the MEG replication. So in this video, I'm going to go over some calculations and we're gonna use the data from the last testing to calculate our input and output current so that we can calculate our power in and power out. And that'll let us know if we have a COP greater than 1.0. So on the left here, you can see we have our transformer C core with the 100 turn input and 1500 turn output and the magnet stack in the middle. We have some properties of the core. These are given the area, the mean magnetic path and the relative permeability. From that, we can calculate the reluctance and that's basically like the resistance to magnetic flux. And these are all just gonna be a constants that we're gonna use. Next, we have to calculate the inductance of each coil. So this is our equation. L is going to be equal to N squared over R. So that's just the number of turns squared over the reluctance. And so we get two different numbers here, one for the input coil and one for the output coil. Below this, we have our equation that we use to calculate our flux that was generated by our input voltage. And finally, we're going to calculate our current. And this equation is used to calculate the current, which is number of turns times the flux divided by the inductance. So for the two coils, we have this equation and this equation, which we basically use to calculate the power in and power out. So we got some really, really interesting results if you look here on the right. So if we were to operate this core below about uh, three kilohertz, it would have the normal properties of having a COP less than 1.0, which is what we would expect. But as we raise the input frequency just above five here, you can see that the blue curve, which is the output, is increasing while the power in is you know, slowly decreasing on this smooth curve here. So from about this point right here, we are getting more power out than in and it peaks at this frequency of 11.8 kilohertz right here and then slowly drops back off so as if we were to operate above 16 kilohertz here it would continue to drop and we would have a cop less than 1.0 so you can see that operating the transformer at the correct frequency is going to be key to getting an output greater than your input so I went ahead and graphed the COP versus frequency. So you can see as we start with our low frequencies here, it's below 1.0, below 1.0 until we get to about four right here and then boom, it's above 1.0 all the way, all the way until about 11.8 and the COP is 3.5. So we are outputting more power than we are inputting and this is awesome. So Basically, the only design thing left to do is to figure out how to feed back some of this power into the circuit and use it to self-power. So here you guys go. It's, it's happening, and we have free energy happening. Thanks for watching. Check out the next video soon.